So what I want to show you today is how to make a really easy grid pattern in Procreate where all of the spaces between the, the different parts of the grid are all nicely and perfectly evenly spaced because it's quite easy to do one just by drawing lines over a grid but this way you'll know that all your lines are perfectly spaced. So we're going to start by creating a new canvas, we're going to tap on the plus icon up here and we'll just use the square option that comes up here. So let's pinch out so we can see that. I'm going to use a slightly textured brush here so that you can um, see that this will work with a textured brush. I'm going to use this Padani one here. You can also use any straight brush as well, like the um, if you wanted to have just pure straight lines you could use the, the hard airbrush in the airbrushing section but we'll go to inking and we'll just use this Padani one. So we are going to go up to our actions menu here and we're going to turn on a drawing guide. We don't need to adjust the scale or anything because we're just going to use this to allow us to draw straight lines. So we go up to our first layer and we're going to turn on drawing assist. And then with this brush, you basically just want to, once you've got drawing guide on, it's going to allow us to only draw in vertical and horizontal lines. Just undo that. So let's draw a, start by drawing a vertical line and you want to start anywhere on the canvas, doesn't matter, don't, you don't have to worry about trying to center it. And just go up and down off the canvas a couple of times and then that's done. The reason we want to come off the canvas is if we only did it once, I mean that wasn't even once, that was a couple of times, you'd have an uneven line and what we need is for the top width to be exactly the same as the bottom width. So yeah, that's why we went back and forth a few times. So then now we can turn our drawing guide off. We've got a nice clear view of the canvas. We are going to go to our transform tool and you want to make sure that you've got magnetics and snapping turned on both all the way up as far as they will go. And what we need to do is to center this line. So you want to bring it into the middle until you see those two orange lines cross over there and then you can release. And then we're going to duplicate this layer, transform again and we're going to snap it to this edge here and snap the middle of it to this edge, not like that, the, not the left edge. I'm going to keep going and we're going to snap the middle of it to that edge. Then we can release and then we'll duplicate this bottom layer again and bring it all the way over to here until you see those two orange lines cross and then we can release. And then we're going to pinch all three of those layers together. We're then going to duplicate this layer, transform it, and we want to rotate it 90 degrees. So we will just tap on this rotate 45 degrees twice. And that's that done. And now this is a seamless repeating grid square. If you wanted to just export this tile and upload it somewhere like Spoonflower, this would tile perfectly on fabric. You can set different scales on Spoonflower. But if you want to create something with a smaller scale to use within Procreate, look at how to do that now. If you wanted to play around with having like a gingham effect where you get a darker colour where these intersect, you can change the blend mode on this to multiply and you'll get a darker colour there where they cross over. So let's leave it like that. And then I'm going to pinch these two layers together. And then to make this a smaller scale, I'm going to duplicate this layer and then I'm going to hide this bottom one and then we have that to go back to. I'm going to transform and I'm going to drag it up into just this corner here. If you saw before there was those orange lines where it snapped to the middle. Let's just do that again. And then we're going to duplicate that layer, select it and drag it across. And then we can zoom in there to make sure that that is seamless, which it is. Then we can pinch these two together duplicate them and then drag those down as well and then we've got it repeated in a smaller scale. One thing which is worth noting when you duplicate stuff or copy and paste things in Procreate and then transform them you will start to see image 
degrading. Like if you trans if you duplicate something a lot of times, you'll notice that the edges of it go fuzzy. But because we're downscaling every time here, it's not going to be too much of a problem. But it is something just to know and to bear in mind. So let's make this even smaller again. And just repeat those steps, duplicate and drag over into that corner, making sure that it's snapping into place each time. And then let's take it smaller again. So basically you just do this as many times as you want to get down to the sort of scale that you would like. And then I think let's do it one more time. I'm just in the habit of duplicating everything before I delete it. Let's drag this one across. And there we go, that is how you would get a grid pattern for using within Procreate where all the grids are perfectly and evenly spaced. I'm going to show you how you could use that now as a clipping mask over some lettering for example. So I'm going to copy this layer and then I'm going to go back out into my gallery and let's use it on this lettering here. It's going to be too small to use over the whole of all of the lettering but if we just paste it in above this lettering layer and let's just drag it over the, the top part and then we can apply a clipping mask and that is now applied to that lettering there and you can move it around if you wanted you'd want to turn snapping back off of this to position it but you can move that around and get the look that you want so that is how to make a really simple grid repeat in procreate and apply it over a layer of illustration Hope you found this quick tutorial useful. If you'd like to see more things like this, let me know. I have a class on Skillshare for making patterns, which goes into a whole bunch of depth than more than using just a grid. And we look at half drops and things like that. If you'd like to check me out on Skillshare, there's a link in the description below that will hook you up with a 30 day free trial. Thank you for watching.